Charlie Sheen and Kelly Preston were two of the biggest stars of the 80s and 90s, so fans went crazy when they got together. The pair got engaged and some even believed the anger management star would change his ways for his fiancée. However, things ended in a shocking and violent way, with a gunshot. Before getting together with Charlie Sheen, Kelly Preston was married to actor Kevin Gage. After her divorce in 1987, she moved on, first with actor George Clooney and then with Sheen. The actor was already known for his scandals and controversies, but when he proposed in 1990 after a year together, Charlie showed there was also a sweet side to him. The star proposed with a 2.5 carat pink diamond ring valued at around $200,000. Preston said yes to Sheen's proposal. However, the couple didn't expect a major setback that would become their instant deal breaker, Kelly being shot with Charlie's gun. After the event, the actress received stitches on her arm. Reports stated that Sheen was the one who shot her. To this day, I'm not sure how I created such chaos and, and, and wound up in that, in that headspace. Both stars denied this version and explained that the whole thing had just been a freak accident. In 2016, Charlie explained the incident while he was touring his show, My Violent Torpedo of Truth. Apparently, he was downstairs making coffee and thought the actress was still sleeping upstairs. And I heard a f***ing gunshot go off, Sheen continued. His first thought was something fans didn't expect. She did it. She finally f***ing did it. She killed herself and they're going to f***ing blame me, the actor said. Charlie went toward the bathroom and saw Kelly naked at the top of the stairs, holding her wrist and covered in blood. I thought, that's pretty f***ing hot, Sheen said, although he later claimed that it was a joke, and he didn't actually think that. How could Preston have shot herself? Well, apparently she lifted the actor's pants from a scale the couple had in their bathroom. The Wall Street alum carried a tiny revolver in his trousers. The gun fell out and shot a bullet right between the actress's legs. According to Sheen, Kelly got hit with pieces of the toilet bowl. The pair split not long after that. They made the practical, and maybe frivolous, move of selling their engagement ring and splitting the profits. During the interview, Charlie explained that a really hard part of the incident was people believing that it was he who shot the actress. There was this discussion, this conversation about the time that I tried to kill Kelly Preston, he explained. It gets so shameful, you know, it gets embarrassing, and and you know that you're that you're better than that. A lot of the media at the time reported that it was Sheen who shot Preston, although most magazines said that the whole thing happened by accident. Charlie already had a reputation for abusing sex and substances, so nobody trusted him. His excesses not only continued through the years, but got worse and more dangerous both for the actor himself and the people surrounding him. Soon after his engagement ended, Sheen entered drug and alcohol addiction rehabilitation. However, it proved to be unsuccessful. In 1991, he began a relationship with Brittany Ashland. Their tumultuous story ended with Charlie's arrest after he grabbed Brittany by the hair and knocked her unconscious against the floor. Apart from his problems with substance dependence and abuse, the actor reportedly was also addicted to sex and pornography. In 1995, he married supermodel Donna Peel. But this union broke after Sheen was called to testify in Heidi Fleiss's trial. Fleiss was a Hollywood madam, and Sheen admitted to having spent more than $50,000 on her sex workers. When the time to justify his actions came, the star just said, I love sex and I can afford it. The trial and broken marriage didn't make the actor change his ways. In 1998, he suffered a stroke despite being only in his 30s. The reason? He'd injected cocaine and overdosed. The star also tried to flee rehab days later. While he was filming Good Advice, Sheen met actress Denise Richards. The couple married in 2002 and had two children together. I think we just want our child to pursue whatever would make them happy. However, Denise filed for custody and a restraining order four years later. The James Bond star claimed Charlie had threatened her and their children, saying things like, I'm going to kill you and your mom. Two years after his divorce, Sheen remarried, this time with actress Brooke Mueller in 2008. The pair had twin boys together. However, two years later, the actor was arrested on domestic violence charges. You know, my husband had me with a knife, and I was scared for my life, and he threatened me. Mueller told the police her husband had held a knife to her throat and said, You better be in fear. Brooke and Charlie divorced. The star decided to move on, not with one, but two women. In 2011, he lived with adult film actress Brie Olson and model and graphic designer Natalie Kenley. And then just regular sex again that night, you know? every We had sex every night. In an ABC News interview, the actor described both women as my goddesses. He also called his routine his daily descent into death. Both girlfriends ended up leaving the actor. Sheen's addictions also began to cost him his career. 
In 2003, the actor was cast in the series Two and a Half Men. The show was wildly successful and Charlie was nominated for numerous awards. He even won the world record for highest paid TV actor per episode. In 2011, the show went on hiatus after Sheen entered rehabilitation for the third time that year. He ended up being fired after making derogatory comments about the show's creator. After this incident, the actor said he was a warlock with tiger blood in an interview with ABC America, making fans even more worried about his health and addictions. Preston didn't side against her former fiancé during all these controversies. Instead, she supported him, telling People Magazine, he's such a good person underneath all of it. The actress added that Sheen wasn't drinking or doing drugs while they were together. She also told UsMagazine.com, I worry for him. In 2015, Sheen admitted something that shocked his fans to the core. He was HIV positive. I'm here to, to admit that I am in fact uh, HIV positive. After a battery of tests, and spinal taps, all that crap, um, it, uh, they walked in the room and said, Oh, here's what's going on. In an interview with NBC, the star admitted that he had known for years, but had tried to keep his status hidden. He even paid millions of dollars to prevent others from publicizing the news. Charlie added, I think I released myself from this prison today, before saying he was confident that he hadn't passed on HIV to anybody else. Two years later, the actor finally decided to commit to sobriety, this time for good. In 2018, he celebrated his first year of sobriety through social media where he shared a pin from his 12-step program. In an interview with Loose Women, the star confessed that his five children had been the reason for his change. Apparently, Charlie had to take his daughter to an appointment, but he wasn't able to because he had drunk alcohol and couldn't drive. In that moment, the actor thought to himself, I'm not even responsible enough to be available for my children's needs. The next morning, Sheen woke up and decided to start his sober journey. The star's career is also recovering. And in 2022, he started working on a new project with the creator of Entourage. He's also in a long-term relationship with his kid's nanny, Julia Stambler. While Sheen was walking down this road of domestic violence and substance abuse, Preston was able to find happiness. After breaking things off with Charlie, Kelly started dating actor John Travolta. You know, every Welcome. time I see you oh. and your husband, John Travolta, you are dancing. Every time. We are. We are. It's the secret to a good marriage, don't you think? Isn't it? Did I know, you, you gotta keep dancing? it fun. The couple had met in 1986 on a movie set. They fell hard for each other, but couldn't be together because the actress was married to Kevin Gage. Years later, Preston opened up about her experience on Watch What Happens Live. When the host asked the star if it was love at first sight with Travolta, she answered, kinda. Well, I was not that happily married. Let's put it that way. I was really with the wrong person. After briefly moving on with Clooney and Sheen, the actress finally started dating John. The couple was so in love that Travolta proposed on New Year's Eve 1990, only months after they started dating. They were spending the night at a Palace Hotel restaurant in Switzerland. So romantic. The pair got married the following year by a Scientology minister in Paris and married for a second time in Florida in 1992. By the year 2000, the couple already had two children. In 2009, tragedy struck the family. The couple's oldest son, Jet, suffered a seizure and died. He was only 16. The family later revealed that Jet was autistic and had a history of seizures. Sometime later, Kelly opened up about her son's death, saying, I felt at times I was drowning. It felt like a sea of wet blankets. John confessed similar feelings during an interview where he said he didn't want to wake up after the tragedy. Two years later, happiness found the couple again and they had another son. The family continued living in harmony. The main word we can use to describe Travolta and Preston's 29 years of marriage. Sadly, Kelly passed away from breast cancer in July 2020. She was 57 years old. John decided to break the news through Instagram where he wrote, It is with a very heavy heart that I inform you that my beautiful wife Kelly has lost her two-year battle with breast cancer. The actor thanked Preston's nurses, doctors, as well as friends and loved ones who had supported his wife. Travolta ended the statement by saying, I will be taking some time to be there for my children who have lost their mother, so forgive me in advance if you don't hear from us for a while. Although some time had gone by since Preston's tragic passing, her family still pays tribute to her on social media. A very special homage happened in October 2020, when Travolta uploaded a picture of their wedding to Instagram, as well as a picture of his parents' wedding to commemorate Kelly's birthday. He wrote, Happy birthday, hun. I found this photo of my mom and dad's wedding. It was nice to see ours alongside theirs. All my love, John. Travolta and his family are still recovering from Kelly's loss. 
Meanwhile, Sheen is still on his sobriety journey and is focused on repairing his relationships with his children and their mothers. Here at Rumor Juice, we wish both families the best and hope they can find happiness.